What's going on, Gig Nation? This is the Gig Accountant. My name is Nas, and I'm a licensed CPA in the state of New Jersey. I'm also a gig economy worker working on food delivery platforms such as Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates. Referral links are down in the description box below if you're interested in signing up for any of those. So yesterday, guys, I had a super frustrating experience at a restaurant where I was picking up food. Uh, so and unfortunately it was at the end of a roll i was on a roll making good money that night but then i hit this one mexican restaurant where none of the restaurant workers spoke any english except for one girl who was like maybe in high school so once i get there i started talking to someone she didn't know any english so she transferred me to the high school girl to talk to talk to i said hey i'm here to pick up the grub hub order they had no clue what grub hub was and then I saw them looking at the door. They had a DoorDash tablet. They were looking at the DoorDash tablet. They were looking at another tablet. I don't know what that was, what they were, was supposed to be. I mean, they kept pressing all the buttons. I don't know what they were looking at, but they couldn't see the grub hub. She had no clue what I was talking about. But she said, okay, we'll make the order um, based on what I have on my uh, phone. So I showed her where I got the phone. Okay, how long does it take? 20 minutes. All right, whatever. I'll wait. I had other orders in my queue, so this was really irritating really frustrating for me because I, I was going to be late for these other orders it was already like almost nine o'clock these these other restaurant this other restaurant which had a bigger payout back home back in my hometown closes at nine o'clock so i wanted to get there but i was being held up by this restaurant so whatever i'm waiting for the food to be completed okay once they're done with the food the girl the girl comes to, comes to me and says okay this order is going to be uh, this much money and I said, okay, uh, right I don't pay. Grubhub road. pays for that. That should be in your system. So they were refusing to release the food without me paying paying it. They were demanding payment. So what, so what I had to do is Continue I had to like call miles. call uh, customer care, the help number. Probably should have called driver, driver care, but whatever. I had to call uh, customer care, explain the situation to them. They weren't understanding. They weren't comprehending the situation. I, and mind you, I had already called them when I first got there, and they didn't know what Grubhub was. But they said, "Yeah, no, that's fine. Just stay there." They, they took the order from your phone. That's fine. Just stay there. Um, pick up the order and complete the order. And they let the other restaurant know. I asked them if they could let the other restaurant know that I was running late. So this is my second time calling Grubhub customer care, letting them know, advising them of the situation, them not comprehending the situation. So me like kind of having to repeatedly repeat myself, explain myself as to what was actually occurring. And then I asked them if they, if they could like reach out to the restaurant to explain them of it, explain them how the system works. They reached out to the restaurant, called, talk, to talk to the girl. The girl didn't really know what was going on because she didn't know. Uh, she said she saw nothing about Grubhub, nothing, nothing there, no, none of the tablets. So finally, um, she goes over to, to the, ta the other tablet that she was at originally and starts pressing buttons over there. And she, shows, and she turns it around and shows to me. And I see that my order is right there. It's my face. It's the order and whatnot. She says, oh, I don't know what to do here. I mean, like, there's nothing for me to select. So I said, oh, let me see here. So I just clicked um, got order and leaving. And it switched over to complete. And I said, I told her, hey, I mean, I think that's it. I mean, there's your payment. I clicked on it and it showed the amount of the uh, the price of the item and everything and it, it, sh it looked like it was complete and I said, so at that point they finally released um, the order to me I was finally able to go out and deliver that that order and move on to the next restaurant and simultaneously I was explaining to the customer through text what was occurring and I mean the customer seemed to be in good spirits about it like when, when I got there she she kind of was like you know laughing about it oh she said oh so no one spoke no one spoke english there then i could tell this is really authentic food <laughs> so at least she was like you know good spirits about it but that kind of like you know that it just kind of like you know threw me off for the night so i went back to my Bartles hometown i completed that one order they were all waiting for me because the restaurant was already closed so they were they had been waiting it was already 9 40 9 50 when i got there i cancel another order that I had at Applebee's because it was like all the way out of town and it was only a six dollar offer so I was like ah no nah, no way 
I'm, I'm back home. I'm just going to like do this order and end it for the night. Yeah, and that's what I did. So, have you guys ever had a situation, an incident like this, where you got to the restaurant and Continue they didn't know what Grubhub was, they didn't mile. receive the order, and then they wouldn't release the order? They were demanding payment. It's kind of a crazy situation for myself. But yeah, that's my story for the day. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm a licensed CPA in the state of New Jersey. I offer accounting services, tax preparation, and planning, as well as consulting work if you are in the need of any, any of those. My rates are subject to the change and at my own discretion, but for the tax prep consulting work, I charge $100 per hour, uh, a little bit less for the accounting services, not, uh, non-GAAP accounting services. But yeah, that's all I got to say for the day for today um so you guys be safe out there secure those bags make that money that's what we're all here for so and have a great day peace guys